Today I'm focusing on this plant and this is Helianthus Cape Neck Star. It's a perennial sunflower and if you're really into sunflowers then this is a must for your garden, especially in a mixed border. So we'll focus on this one solely today um, and the bees love it as you can see. The bees are all over it generally, in fact there's two or three on it now. They never stop on it. Butterflies come to it as well when the weather's right for them. Um, <clears throat> and it has this wonderful colour. It's really, really nice. Now, I've got it in the long border here up at Grassy Bottom, uh, and, and I love it. Now, we've got two plants here that I've split. I split the original plant uh, last year, and I took some splits off that, and then I actually... Um, potted it on and got them going and they're doing quite well and I planted another one down in the boardwalk border but I've kept these two together now had I left it last year this is how big it would have been anyway as a clump it would have been a, a lovely bigger uh, bigger clump than this actually um, <clears throat> it's quite an elongated clump at the moment as we can see from here quite elongated instead of its round clump and that's because simply because like I said I've, I've split it and there's two plants there and it looks great and I love looking at this one and it, it shines out all the time now we've got a bit of sun just moving around on it at the moment so let's try and show you one of the really shiny ones there you go bright as a button that is it's a real golden yellow that uh, and it's absolutely full of flowers now, it, it's a perennial, as I said, so it'll come back every year. It'll make five, between five and five and a half foot tall by about four foot in it as a clump. It won't run, um, and year on year, it's going to get a bigger clump. So, so what better to be able to spread around in your garden? Now, it comes from, I think it's named after a castle up in Dumfries, something like that, but I suppose a lot of you are not really interested in that. Uh, but all I need to tell you is that uh, if you've got some sort of a mixed border, this is definitely one to be getting. It flowers, when it starts flowering, it just doesn't stop, and it'll probably go right through to September, I think it, it goes through to, and it's definitely started in uh, at the end of June, the first flowers appeared. And they just keep appearing, and I've got no doubt that if I could get this in full sun for for all of the day it would have even more flowers and hopefully we will test that theory on the other border because that's exactly where i've put it now it'll take part shade it's only in part shade at the moment because of the side of the house it's on but generally through the day it gets at least four to six hours sun so it does quite well um i think it's not as available as most other sunflowers you know the big sunflowers it's more likely to be found at the specialist nurseries just search online and you will find it it's a good doer it takes most soils it's not really particular about the soils obviously all but the very wettest and if you're in dry soils then then get it started before you uh before you you quit the uh the watering now i'm going to spread this one around like i say i've already got in another border but i am going to spread it around because i love it and it goes well with my ornamental grasses there's one behind there and as i showed a little bit earlier it also goes well with me other perennials that are behind it there and that's a monada and a solid day go back there looking good and the grasses behind it that's it that's across at another border they're not actually in the same border uh, but it has this lovely full look about it if you like flowers this will be the one for you. Definitely worth getting. Cape Neck Star, Helianthus, a perennial sunflower. Take any sort of uh, soil, as I said, uh, and I should search it out. I like it. Uh, uh, in fact, I love it. I used to plant the annual sunflowers every year, but why bother when you can get one like this, as beautiful as this? It's obviously not as big as the normal sunflowers, um, <clears throat> but it's definitely worth having. So that's Elianthus, Cape Neck Star. I'll talk to you on the next one. Ta-da!